In this video, I'm gonna show you how to do a voiceover directly inside of iMovie. You gotta just press record. Hey, my name is Noel Moll and this is Think Media. So today we're gonna be using the Blue Yeti microphone for doing our voiceover in iMovie, but you can use any microphone. I'll explain how you can do a voiceover with something like a smartphone, and then I'm gonna show you how to record with something like a USB mic directly into iMovie. Now, to be fair, we're not using this microphone just yet, but I am gonna be using this in the video. First things first, we wanna figure out exactly where I want to start the voiceover. And you wanna just move your playhead uh, to where you want it to start. So for me, I want it to start on this clip right here where my wife walks out into the ocean and I'm gonna do a, a little voiceover right here. So right at the beginning, I'm gonna hit my playhead. Now, in order to get to the voiceover options, all you gotta do is hit this little microphone button right here and you're gonna see a big red button which is how you start recording. And uh, this right here is your audio levels. This tells you how loud or quiet it is. If it's way down here at the bottom, it's gonna be really quiet. It can get orange or red and that tells you that it's a bit too loud. Right here on the right is our voiceover options and if you open this up you're going to see a few more things. So input source. Right now it's set to the built-in microphone on my iMac and I definitely don't want to use that because I'm going to get some pretty bad audio. And so if you don't have a USB microphone I recommend not using the iMac. You know the new MacBook Pros that Apple has been releasing actually have some really really good microphones inside of them but for a lot of us our computers our laptops just don't have good audio. For most of us, whatever we're using, the built-in microphone is not going to be very good. So a great option is to pull out a smartphone, for me, my iPhone, go into the voice memo app, and then you can record uh, with the iPhone or whatever smartphone you have pretty close to your mouth, not right in front of your mouth, maybe right off to the side. And if you do your voiceover like this, you're gonna get way better audio than the built-in microphone on your computer. From there, you would just airdrop it to your computer and drag it from the downloads onto your project. One other tip with recording with a smartphone is that if you plug in headphones into your smartphone and it has a speaker on the cord, you can actually sometimes use that microphone. So if you hold that right in front of your mouth and you begin to talk into it and do your voice over, sometimes you can get much better audio with that as well. But for us, since we have this USB microphone, we want to select the USB advanced audio device. Now, whatever yours is titled, it's gonna pop up there if it's connected to the computer and you're going to select that. Now here you can see that you can change the volume and then you can also mute the project. So if you don't wanna hear maybe the music that's overlaid or if you don't wanna hear uh, the sound that's coming from the video where you're doing your voiceover, you can keep that selected. I like to keep a uh, mute project checked. One last thing to do that is super crucial before recording your voiceover is actually going into your system preferences on your laptop or computer. So for me, I'm going to select the Apple. I'm going to go to system preferences. And then I'm going to go to sound. Now, something to notice here is we want to go to input because that is uh, what the voiceover is using is the input of the microphone. And here we have our USB mic selected. So that is good. Here is where we need to make some big changes. That's going to make a huge difference for our voiceover. Our input volume right now by default is just set to 50%. So if I unmute my microphone on here and I talk, you're going to notice, you're going to notice two things. One, this input level is crazy loud and uh, literally it, it's red. Anytime I start talking, if I stop talking, it'll go away. But this thing is just way too loud. So on the back of my microphone, I have a gain level and I can turn it all the way down. But even if I do that, the, the computer is just boosting it so loud that it's not even helping. And on this computer, if you leave the input volume up pretty high, you're gonna get some weird buzzing sounds out of this thing uh, and some hissing and just stuff that we do not want on our voiceover. So I like to turn mine all the way down to zero and then just barely pop it up right there. So that is the least it can go and that's where I wanna leave it. So from there, I want to boost the audio on my microphone, which is gonna give me the best quality sound. All right, now that I've got my audio levels right about here, I don't want it at the very top because then I could start clipping. I just want them a few notches down. So this is actually looking perfect. Now that that is set to go, we're gonna get really good audio and I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that. So back here, make sure you have this selected and then you can see here that my audio levels look pretty good and uh, there it goes orange which is okay you just don't want it to go red if I talk really close to the microphone 
then it's gonna go red. But again, I'm gonna be right here. Orange is fine, green is fine. So let's open up the settings. Make sure we're all set, make sure we're all good to go. Now, one of the weird things in iMovie is that there's another input volume level. And so if I adjust this, you're gonna notice that uh, iMovie is now boosting it. So we wanna keep this down. We're gonna actually just keep that at zero and see how it sounds. Now, before I hit the red button to start recording, it's gonna give you three seconds to kind of prepare yourself for the recording. And so it's gonna jump back three seconds. Don't freak out. When it starts recording, it will start right here at the playhead where you want it to. So let's hit that. Thanks for watching this video. If you use iMovie, give this video a thumbs up. Then you're gonna hit the same button to stop it and now we have a voiceover. So let's take a listen and see how it sounds. Thanks for watching this video. If you use iMovie, give this video a thumbs up. So it sounds pretty good. Once you've recorded your voiceover, you can still move it around if you wanted to start it uh, at the beginning of your video and you can drag these ends here if you want to cut off any parts of it. So for example, if I wanna cut off the beginning part. Thanks for watching this video. I wanna cut all that out and I just drag and trim it off. And then these right here are going to fade in and out your audio. So I'm just gonna fade that in just a little bit. I don't want it going over my voice, but I wanna fade it in and out just a little bit. So right here. If you use iMovie, give this video a thumbs up. Awesome, so that sounds great. And that's how you do a voiceover inside of iMovie. If you learned something, give this video a like and subscribe to Think Media. And if you wanna check out our playlist with editing in iMovie, then you can click on the screen right now. And until next time, I'll see you guys later.